everyone, it's TV Shores. I'm back. It is March 15th, 2021. It's 4.46 p.m. Uh, we wanted to pick back up on where we left off with uh, 1 Kings 6. But first, I want to reemphasize that these, these scriptures the Lord is given are scriptures that are placed as breadcrumbs within his word to help at the appropriate time show us that he has included all these things in his word for us to find and understand. Um, this scripture that I popped back over here to is just an example of that. Matthew 6, where we looked at uh, how this is one of the scriptures that shows us that the Lord has that inner eye, that pig land, spoken of in his word. So we're going to get back over here to this other scripture that is about being a breadcrumb that is hidden within and shows us some understanding of this pig land and what's going on. Now, we touched on some of this in the last video, but I'm going to go just a little deeper and tie it all together in this one. Hopefully, it won't be as long as the other. All right, so we're going to look at the word door. When we go in here and look at the door, now we know a door means um, an entryway. It's the way in, okay? And clearly, that's what this is saying in all that, that's said here. Uh, it's about it being a door, a gate. An entry. Now, this is the Hebrew word that door was translated from, okay? But if we go a little deeper at this word, it came from H, the Hebrew word six in the strong 6605. And so when we click on it to get a, a deeper understanding of where this word door came from, I find it interesting that when we get in here, we have we have um sorry about that. We have two main meanings. One is to open, the other is to carve or engrave. Now, we already know door means to open, to be an opening, okay, to be the way in. But if we look at this carver engrave, and I don't have it pulled up, I'm sorry, I apologize, I should have pulled it up. But to carve or engrave means to make a cut in something, okay? So when we take that into consideration and we look back at the word door, understanding the Hebrew words that it came from, we see it as a cut opening a cut entry, okay, a cut way in. <clears throat> Do you understand what I mean there? Okay, so we have this cut opening for the middle chamber, the door for the middle chamber was in the right side. And remember when we looked at side, clearly it meant shoulder. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Got shoulder everywhere here. And as we went on down to definitions, it says from an unused root, meaning clothe, the shoulder. Proper example, upper end of the arm as being the spot where the garments hang. Okay, when we looked it up, this is what we got when we looked up upper arm. Okay. Um, I see it, it's the same. It's this area here, this area here. Okay. So I don't think there's any mistaken what this word side is meaning. So then if we look at the first part of this scripture and read it with the understanding of the Hebrew words, that, that it was derived from, we see a cut opening for the middle chamber. Now, the middle chamber, of course, was this third ventricle that's in the middle, okay? Uh, we see it again 
over here, I believe, yes, where it's talking about where the pea gland is. Uh, it's in the center of the brain between the two lobes. And its location, right here, it is located on the back portion of the third cerebral ventricle or chamber of the brain. So when we put all this together, we understand that it's about a cut opening for that middle, remember middle, right here, it's in the middle, in the center. It's, wait a minute, where's our other one? It's um, the, the third cerebral ventricle, which is right here in the middle. Okay, so I want to I want to make sure that's clear. So we're looking at a cut opening for the middle chamber where the pea gland resides. Uh, this cut opening was in the right shoulder of the house, and the house simply being this this temple of the Lord that we represent. And they went up. Of course, up means simply to go up, ascend, or climb. So this is letting us know that is the intended direction, up to the upper part, okay? But also it lends understanding to what the enemy is trying to do in ascending and exalting himself, that he may sit as the Lord, that he may sit as God in the dwelling place. Of God, which is, as we saw, represented by the, the pea gland in this temple, just as it was in the Holy of Holies in the temple in ancient days, because that was a foreshadowing of this temple today. Okay, so we know they went up. with winding stairs. Now the winding stairs, I mean, we've covered that a lot. The winding stairs is this right here, the building blocks. So they went up exalted with the winding stairs, the building blocks into the middle chamber and out of the middle into the third. Okay, the understanding of that comes with this right here, how it shows us it is that the pea gland is located in the back portion of the third cerebral ventricle of the brain. So the pea gland is at the back portion of the third chamber. And that ties all this in together. Okay, so we're looking at this as understanding from Hebrew understandings of words that are given here. The cut opening for the middle chamber, the third ventricle, was in the right side shoulder of the temple. This, this temple that we have. And they went up with winding stairs with the building blocks into the middle chamber, into the third ventricle, and out of the middle into the third, into the third, out of the middle into the third. So all about getting to that third position, that, that third area, which is the inner eye, the third eye, in the third ventricle, uh, the pea gland. So I hope you can see from this, the Lord ha has definitely left us breadcrumbs within his word so that we can see that he did not exclude this. We just got to dig for it and he's opening it up. I don't think it was meant to be revealed until the time that we're in. I don't know. 
I really don't know how many others may have been given this and at what time frame, but I find it significant in the time frame that, that I'm receiving it because last summer, if you remember, I did a study, um, to put it in a nutshell, it was about um, the destruction of the temple, the ninth of Av, all that, that's connected there, understanding about the, the breaching of the wall and the destruction of the temple. And I did not completely understand why the Lord had took me through that study because I thought it was showing that it was time for his end time plan to be kicked into high gear, so to speak. And then here we still are. And then he's brought me into this study and he made it very clear that this is why I went through all that. It was about embedding in me about that breaching of the wall and that destruction of the temple because this is the spiritual understanding of that in this day, okay? So I'm going to cut this off here. I love y'all. I hope that this excites you as much as it does me, that God is showing us these things in his word. I'll be back soon. Love y'all.